This is the SR-72 Darkstar, a sleek, futuristic aircraft that flies through the clouds at astonishing speeds. The existence of the mysterious SR-72 has finally been confirmed, and it's more incredible than anyone ever imagined. This hypersonic spy aircraft with capabilities that seem ripped straight from the pages of a science fiction novel is shaking up the aviation world and igniting the imaginations of enthusiasts everywhere. For years, whispers and speculations have swirled around the SR-72. This enigmatic aircraft, cloaked in secrecy, has left aviation experts and hobbyists alike buzzing with excitement and curiosity. Imagine an aircraft that can travel at hypersonic speeds, evading detection and gathering intelligence with unparalleled precision. The SR-72's advanced technology promises to revolutionize aerial surveillance and defense. But what exactly are its capabilities? And how does it stack up against the iconic SR-71 Blackbird? Today, we peel back the layers of mystery and dive deep into the secrets of this groundbreaking aircraft. Buckle up, because what you're about to discover will change everything you thought you knew about aviation. Unveiling the SR-72 In the shadowy world of advanced military technology, whispers of the SR-72 began to circulate in early 2007. Lockheed Martin, a titan of defense innovation, was rumored to be developing an aircraft capable of achieving an astonishing speed of Mach 6, faster than any aircraft in history. But that wasn't the only jaw-dropping revelation about this enigmatic machine. Enter conspiracy theorist Tyler Glockner, who claimed to have uncovered a secretive aircraft hidden in the swamplands of Florida via Google Earth. According to Glockner, the runway where this mysterious object was found belongs to Pratt & Whitney, a renowned aircraft engine manufacturer. This shrouded aircraft, a direct successor to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird, promised to fly faster and higher than any missile or cannon shot could reach, positioning it as an unbeatable force in the skies. Before we dive into the breathtaking specifics of the SR-72, let's revisit the capabilities of its iconic predecessor, the SR-71 Blackbird. Designed by the brilliant American aerospace engineer Clarence Kelly Johnson, the SR-71 was a marvel of technology born from a black project and built to instill fear in adversaries like China with its unparalleled power. This jet, which could soar at speeds over twice the speed of sound, boasted a level of strength unmatched by other aircraft. The SR-71 was constructed using one of Earth's strongest metals, titanium. This choice wasn't just about strength. It was crucial for maintaining the aircraft's stealth. Designed as a spy plane, stealth was paramount, and the SR-71 delivered with advanced sensors, a powerful radar, and a high-definition camera, enabling it to gather intelligence through images, signals, measurements, and signatures. Powered by two formidable Pratt and Whitney J-58 engines, each generating a thrust of 32,000 pounds, the SR-71 could achieve speeds up to Mach 3.2 and altitudes of 85,000 feet. Pilots had to wear pressurized suits akin to those worn by astronauts due to the near-space altitudes at which they flew. The aircraft's prowess was such that NASA, with its focus on space, operated the SR-71 alongside the U.S. Air Force. Interestingly, the SR-71 carried no weapons. It didn't need them. When targeted, the Blackbird would simply accelerate, outrunning any missile or round fired at it. This extraordinary capability ensured that no SR-71 was ever shot down, securing its place in history as the fastest and highest flying operational aircraft, a record it still holds despite its retirement over two decades ago. The Dark Star Is the SR-71 already obsolete compared to the upcoming sixth generation fighters? Enter the Dark Star, a marvel poised to dominate the skies with groundbreaking technology. 
Rumors abound that this beast flies so fast, its shockwave can blow roofs off houses below. And if that isn't enough, some whisper about it housing the most powerful laser ever made. Initially shrouded in secrecy, the USAF remained silent on its existence. But now, Lockheed Martin has confirmed the SR-72 project, with a prototype expected to soar soon. In a move that left no room for doubt, the United States Air Force also confirmed the reality of the Dark Star. Many sources call it the Dark Star, though officially it lacks a nickname, being referred to by some as the Son of Blackbird. Nicknaming military aircraft like the F-15 Eagle involves historical tradition, practical reasons and protocols from the military or manufacturer. However, this usually happens only after the Air Force officially accepts the aircraft. The tale of Dark Star's development intriguingly ties together both the entertainment and military industries. During the production of the hit movie Top Gun, Paramount Pictures approached Lockheed Martin to design an aircraft that would make the protagonist Mitchell the fastest person ever. Coincidentally, Lockheed Martin was already developing such an aircraft under their Skunk Works division. Why is it called Skunk Works? The name dates back to World War II, when Kelly Johnson's secret aircraft development team at Lockheed operated from a tent near a foul-smelling plastic factory. Inspired by a comic strip where a place called the Skonk Works emitted a terrible odor, engineer Irv Culver jokingly answered the phone with Skonk Works. The name stuck, evolving into Skunk Works, now a registered trademark of Lockheed Martin. Despite the humorous origin, Skunk Works has an impressive track record, having developed powerful aircraft like the F-22 and F-35. Why was Lockheed Martin working on this project in the first place? Since 1998, they've been striving to create a fighter jet with extreme speed to replace the SR-71. This led to the development of the hypersonic technology vehicle 2, HTV-2, under DARPA's Falcon project. This uncrewed, rocket-launched aircraft, designed to fly through Earth's atmosphere at incredible speeds, first flew in April 2010 and again in August 2011, reaching speeds up to Mach 20. Data from the HTV-2 project has been crucial in designing the SR-72. Brad Leland from Lockheed Martin recently stated that hypersonic aircraft and missiles could enter restricted airspace and strike targets across a continent in less than an hour. Speed is the next major advancement in aviation to handle future threats, he said, highlighting that this technology could revolutionize warfare similarly to how stealth technology has transformed combat today. The Son of Blackbird is being crafted with advanced materials like carbon-carbon composites, capable of withstanding more extreme heat than the SR-71's titanium skin. Expected to achieve speeds up to Mach 6, the SR-72 would outpace missiles and evade current air defense systems, offering the U.S. unparalleled reconnaissance and strike capabilities in heavily defended areas. Lockheed Martin is collaborating with Aerojet Rocketdyne on a turbine-based combined cycle propulsion system to achieve a cruise speed over Mach 6. This system involves a turbine engine providing thrust until Mach 3, at which point a dual-mode ramjet takes over, powering the flight at hypersonic speeds. The Dark Star's abilities are crucial for major power conflicts, supporting the U.S. national defense strategy focused on intense confrontations with countries like Russia and China. Its speed and stealth make it a vital tool for enhancing air defenses, showcasing a strategic shift in U.S. military planning toward more adaptable and dynamic platforms for future battlefields. However, stealth technology may face challenges with an aircraft like this, as radar-absorbing materials might struggle with high temperatures, and the large infrared signature could make it difficult to hide. Yet, with its incredible speed and the ability to outrun most non-hypersonic missiles, these issues remain largely theoretical. Bombs and conventional missiles aren't suitable for such an aircraft as they could collide post-launch. Instead, the Dark Star will feature laser systems, including an enhanced version of the LAWS with a 350 kilowatts power output 
capable of cutting through five inches of metal. Another intriguing feature is the cockpit design, invisible when viewed head-on, similar to the X-59 being developed by Skunk Works. The aircraft uses synthetic vision systems to see directly ahead. An illustration on Lockheed Martin's website revealed a port on the fuselage typically used for astronomical navigation systems, affectionately dubbed R2-D2 in reference to the Star Wars droid. Like its predecessor, the SR-72 will boast the most advanced sensors and high-quality cameras to capture images spanning 100 miles each shot. Yet, there's much more to the SR-72 than just its capabilities. The Next-Gen Fighter The SR-72 is emerging as a strong contender for the U.S. Air Force's next-generation air dominance, NGAD, fighter, promising to be outfitted with some of the most advanced technologies ever seen. According to the Air Force's annual acquisition report covering fiscal years 2019 and 2020, this futuristic fighter will maximize stealth with a revolutionary triangular design, internal payload storage, and the absence of vertical stabilizers. Vertical stabilizers have traditionally been essential for keeping an aircraft airborne. However, the concept of active flow control, first seen in the B-2 Spirit, changes everything. Active flow control uses onboard computers to constantly adjust the airflow around the aircraft, mimicking the flight mechanics of birds. The result? Unparalleled stealth capabilities and a hefty price tag, which explains why the B-2 costs $2 billion. It's this cutting-edge technology that justifies NASA's staggering $1 billion investment in the SR-72 development and Congress allocating over $10 billion to the NGAD program within a decade. Additionally, the Navy's recent budget request of over $9 billion for the next five years underscores the significance of this development. The SR-72, as an NGAD fighter, will boast an incredible sensor suite capable of detecting targets, allies, and points of interest from miles away and engaging them with pinpoint accuracy. These sensors, integrated into the aircraft's smart skin, will provide maximum connectivity, allowing data sharing with every other fleet member regardless of generation. Instead of traditional radar systems, the U.S. will utilize electronically configured smart skins embedded in the aircraft's fuselage. This innovation will enhance sensor sensitivity and network adaptability, making communication across the fleet more efficient and improving remote control capabilities. The SR-72 will feature a mix of high-performance guns, missiles, and open-architecture laser weapons capable of unprecedented precision. Its engines, developed under the Adaptive Engine Transition Program, AETP, will support subsonic, transonic, and supersonic flight, costing over $6 billion to develop. Additional features will include loyal wingman drones, state-of-the-art electronic warfare countermeasures, advanced avionics, and superior communication systems. These elements will ensure the SR-72 not only excels in combat, but also serves as a critical node in a highly connected, information-rich battlefield environment. Ultimate War Machine Decades of aviation history have shown us one thing. No aircraft is ever truly finished. The United States, along with other nations, knows that there's always room for improvement, especially with near-peer adversaries closing the technology gap. Take the F-22 Raptor, for example. As the first stealth aircraft, it was unmatched in its prime. Yet even the Raptor needed upgrades to stay ahead of emerging threats. Enter the SR-72, also known as the Dark Star. This next-generation fighter is designed with an open architecture, allowing for rapid upgrades to keep pace with evolving technology. With an estimated unit cost of $1 billion and a top speed of Mach 6, the SR-72 is set to be the closest thing we have to a truly hypersonic aircraft. In 2017, Lockheed Martin announced that the combined cycle hypersonic engine was ready for real-world application. 
They suggested that a single-engine demonstrator could be flying by the early 2020s, with a twin-engine platform entering operational service by 2030. The Dark Star is not just a technological marvel. It's set to revolutionize warfare strategy. But the SR-72 isn't the only game-changer on the horizon. Just a few miles away, in the workshop of Atlanta-based startup Hermes, another groundbreaking aircraft is taking shape. Known as the Quarter Horse, this hypersonic jet aims to reach speeds of Mach 5.5, almost matching the SR-72. What sets the Quarter Horse apart is its potential for commercial use, making it the only hypersonic jet designed with civilian applications in mind. Recognizing its potential, both NASA and the Air Force have invested heavily in Hermes, with the Air Force alone contributing over $60 million. The Quarter Horse is also notable for its high payload capacity, earning it the title of the aircraft for the future. Civilians might soon find themselves flying from New York to London in just 1.5 hours, a staggering 450% increase in speed compared to current travel times. The Quarter Horse achieves its incredible speed thanks to a turbine-based combined cycle, TBCC engine derived from the General Electric J85 engine. Originally used in the Northrop F5 fighter jet, this engine has proven its capabilities at supersonic speeds. Hermes plans to modify it with their own technology to reach hypersonic speeds. With seven of these engines, each producing up to 5,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner, the quarter horse is poised to transform air travel. What's even more impressive is the cost efficiency of Hermes' development process. The quarter horse is built around hardware-rich, autonomous and reusable systems focused solely on essential requirements. This approach minimizes unnecessary components, keeping costs low. Hermes is confident they can execute the quarter horse test flight for under $100 million, a relatively modest sum for a hypersonic project at this stage. With the Hermes Quarter Horse, the NGAD and the SR-72, the United States is committed to maintaining its dominance in the skies with hypersonic aircraft. However, it's not alone in this race. Nations like China and Russia are also developing next-generation fighters with advanced capabilities. Yet, the United States has a proven track record of surpassing expectations and coming out on top. This time will be no different.